Hello, how are you? Good morning. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, I'm sorry there was no vlog last week, but himself there was uh, climbing Switzerland and then climbing Italy, and so I had no one to film me. But I. Uh, me but uh he's here now he's back and um i went like as always when he's away i went completely feral and i uh, like i mean i wouldn't cope for myself at the best of times but um i was rattling around the house on my own and uh there was one night um for my tea i had drinking chocolate straight out of the tin just eating it with a spoon and then um I found some tins of fruit cocktail and uh, God only knows, why would I have fruit cocktail in the house? Um, it must have been there from 1842. Um, and then I remembered biology lessons at school saying that you could get Potoamine poisoning um, if you ate things out of tins that were very old. And I was feeling devil make hair. So I thought, you're feck it, I'll chance the Potoamine poisoning. And I thought, it's an illness I haven't had yet. And I'm always keen to sample new illnesses. So um, I had it and it tasted a bit funny. But I didn't get Potoamine poisoning. And that was a bit of a disappointment, but I'm still alive and I suppose that's a good thing. And you will notice that I am not referencing world events because I sort of feel, what's the feckin' point, you know? And that all I can do is kind of on a micro level, just be nice, be nice. Go to my Polish tailors a lot. Uh, invent things for them to do so that they feel, not that, I mean, I'm living in Ireland, I'm not living in Britain, but still, you know, they're probably feeling we're all feeling wobbly, so it doesn't hurt to be nice. And uh, now uh, I, I'm going to come back and tell you more things, but first I'm going to show you something. A book, The Girdles by Emma Klein. Now you've probably heard about this because it's been described as like the must read of the summer and the book of the summer and all. Whenever I hear things like that, I think, if you don't mind, I'll just, you know, I've got a mind of my own. I'll, I'll decide now. And uh, so I was quite, mm, when I came to read it anyway, like even from the first sentence, I was enthralled to it. Do you know about it? It's a sort of a fictionalization of a girl who got caught up in the, the Manson cult in California, A in, um, in the late 60s, in, it's 1969 in the book. And the writer, she's only young, um, she has this ability to create sensations and emotions with just devastating accuracy. Um, it, it, it's, it's a real sensory overload read. And even though you know what's going to happen, it's so compelling. And I mean, the only thing about it is, it, it's so compelling that I read it really fast, like I read it in a day. But she's brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm big enough to be able to say uh, it is the book of the summer. It is the must read of the summer. So now, look at um, on Friday, myself and about 29 keyses are going to Stockholm for our summer holliers. Um, we've got a house on the archipelago, um, so we're on the water. And um, we have a boathouse, and Luca and Aaron have to sleep in the boathouse. And now, I don't want anyone to be murdered. That would be the wrong thing to say. But I'm hoping that there would be some sort of kind of fairly serious crime so that um, Henrik, um, no, Christopher Henriksen could come and solve it for me. And I could help him. I could say, I could lie and say, uh, I'm a policewoman back in the Ireland's. Um, I can be your Irish person uh, on the ground. And myself and Christer could spend the week together. Because apart from himself there behind the camera and Pasha, I think that Christer Henriksen is the man that I love most on the earth. And that's saying something, isn't it? And so we're very excited and we're hoping that we will meet lots of Swedish people and maybe be invited to barbecues. So if you are a Swedish person um, and you see me, please say hello and welcome me and say hey do and tack. And, and the thing is, you don't even have to bother speaking English to me because I am fluid, as we all know. Now, in prep, I like that word, prepping for my holliers, I will be doing my fake tan. Now, as we know, this is an incredibly 
vexed subject and I will show you something that I found that works. Hold on. Do you know this Zen tan? I don't know if you do. I don't know if it's well known or not. And oh Jesus, the light is after going out. Hold on, we might have to stop and fix it. Hold on, stop it, stop it. It's on again, the light's on again. And I realise I've my Zen tan upside down. Hold on. There we are, right way round. And in addition to it, I also got this lad, which is the scrubby thing that you put on beforehand to scrub the living daylights out of you. Um, so the draw is smooth um, when your tan goes on. So yes, as I say, I've tried it once before. I think it's good. And um, this may be of use to you. I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, is it even on to do fake tan anymore? I feel like, you know, if I'm going to Sweden, I have to make the effort. Um, and then we'll be back. And then, oh yeah, so anyway, next Monday, we'll do, we will attempt to do the vlog from live, well, it won't be live, I suppose, but it'll be live when I'm doing it. Live when I'm doing it from Stockholm, the archipelago. And, and maybe Krista will be with me. Yes, I will take a break from my crime solving um, to do my vlog. And then maybe Krista would come and say, hey, do. that'd be nice. Anyway, I hope you're well in these uncertain times. Um, Katrina, my beloved Katrina, was home from New York um, and she'd been to Italy and she came back um, on Wednesday. And we, from, from Thursday to Sunday, which was yesterday when she back, you know, we had the most beautiful time. And I think it's important that we tell people we love them and spend time with people who are important to us. Um, because that's all there is, really. You know, I suppose you can surrender to the hate or you can love people and be kind. And I know I keep saying this, but I really, the older I get, the more I feel that, there, you know, there is nothing else. You know, it's all we can do um, just to be nice, uh, to smile at people, um, tell people you like their nails. I do that a lot. Um, and then himself just be embarrassed. It's like, for the love of Jesus, you leave the poor girl alone. Anyway, you're nice to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I feel it and I'm grateful. Thank you. And I hope you know that I am nice to you and that I think of you with such warmth and fondness. And uh, and now before we start crying and everything, we leave it there. We leave it there. And uh, next week, Stockholm. Hooray. Goodbye. Have a lovely week. Bye.